Kat and Iba, and thank you so much for tuning in to Holo Holo, the show that aims to spotlight our very own talent. And joining us today is actor turned filmmaker Ariel Felix. You may have seen him in Broadway, on the small screen, and on the big screen. His recent project is a film that he directed and wrote called 20 Minutes Late, and it just featured at the Culver City Film Festival. Welcome, Ariel. Thanks, Kat. Thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you <laughs> nice for be being here. here. Um, so I know you just recently screened your very first um, film, right? It that was my directorial debut. Yeah, <laughs> I've I've never directed anything on film right. or TV. Um, some stage productions, but never um, anything on film. So yeah. uh, it was it was a lot of fun. We premiered the movie um, at the Culver City Film Festival mm -hmm. this past Thursday yeah. and had a really good showing. <laughs> nice, congratulations. Thank you. Now it's titled 20 Minutes Late. 20 um, Minutes Late. What is it about? Um, I wanted to make a movie um, and write something about <laughs> human relationships right. and the uh, intricacies that involve uh, personal, professional relationships. And it's, uh, this movie's about two uh, lawyers uh, at the top of their game right. in Vancouver, mm -hmm. uh, prosecutors. And, uh, you know, life uh, can seem really, really close to perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and then all of a sudden, tragedy strikes and everything changes. Oh, wow. Without giving it away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gist of it. <laughs> now, you wrote it. Um, what inspired you to write the film? Um, I wanted to uh, end the year last year on a positive artistic note. Yeah. And I started writing away uh, based on people's recommendations, mm -hmm. actually. And, uh, you know, it was a little uh, scary for me. But once I got to doing it, uh -huh. um, I found a lot of inspiration. Right. And, uh, Artistically, I collaborated with uh, people that I know mm -hmm. who work in the industry, who uh, both in front and uh, behind the camera. Yeah. And one of the most important things to me was having diversity. Right. Uh, again, behind and in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the cast and crew represented, uh, I think, maybe seven countries. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Our editors from Mexico, uh -huh. our DPs from Italy, right. who I call my Coppola. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the stars uh, of the movie, Tessa Kim, is German, oh, wow. um, and uh, yeah, Canada is mm -hmm. represented as well. Yeah. Uh, I hear that you shot part of the film in Canada, or yeah, Toronto, um, and also here in Long Beach. Yeah, <laughs> most of the exteriors are uh, were shot up in Vancouver, right. downtown Vancouver, um, uh, and um, a lot of the uh, interior shots were, except for maybe two or three mm -hmm. exterior shots, were shot uh -huh. in downtown Long Beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long Beach. So you were telling me before we started taping that you weren't planning on directing the film, right? No, I no. wasn't. Um, actually, uh, a friend of mine, uh -huh. um, he is a Filipino director here. Right. Uh, now he's producing like really great projects. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, uh, you know, I emailed the script to him. He really liked it. And I said, right. you know, Jeff, can you, would you mind if you have time right. directing this thing? And uh, unfortunately, he had a project that he was producing uh -huh. in, in New York right. at the time. And we need to get this done. Um, we wrapped about almost a year ago mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. um, because the holidays were approaching, uh, we wanted to sort of just, you know, wrap on the thing um, with all the, the shooting uh, finished. Right. So he said he couldn't do it, unfortunately, but he's like, you know, Ariel, it's your baby. Um, <laughs> <It is. laughs> I know you've never directed anything before, but you've, as an actor, you've worked with some really great directors. Right. Just just pick and choose. And <laughs> <laughs> technique here, That's technique the there. the beauty of it, right? <laughs> yeah. So I took his advice to heart. Yeah. And, uh, it, it was a little difficult, yeah. to be honest. Um, I can directing imagine. Directing and then acting. Yeah, I was going to say, I can imagine it being your very first film that you direct and then also being in front of the camera. What was that like? It was a, it was a lot of work. I was uh, mostly concerned with the other actors. Right. Um, and when it came to my angle, I'd be like, okay, let's just bang this out. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what we'll you wanted from one. yourself. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, one of the um, most enjoyable days for me right. was... Uh, 
might have been like the fourth shooting day when I wasn't involved in any of the scenes. Oh, okay. And I was just behind the camera working with the DP and yeah. sort of, you know, seeing what works and what doesn't, sort of like really <laughs> taking the time. And, yeah. um, you know, guerrilla filmmaking is challenging because, right. you know, you're always <laughs> you're on a time feet, crunch right? <laughs> and uh, you're always working on a budget. Yeah. And so you want to kind of finish it as soon as we could. But it's doing well because I hear that you've entered it into a couple of film festivals and um, it's already been accepted into the ones that you've yeah, entered. Yeah, we're, we're two for two. <laughs> yeah, so two that's for a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> wood. Um, yeah. And there, I just heard uh, coming to the studio today, um, one of the producers said uh -huh. that there's a, a festival up in uh, Vancouver oh, wow. that's interested in uh, showcasing the movie. So wow. that'll, that's so interesting. Yeah, that, okay, that'll be congratulations. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Thank like you. a lot of fun. But um, for us, if we want more information on the film, where do we go? Um, our website is 20minuteslate.com. Uh -huh. Okay, 20 minutes simple, late. Yeah. And hopefully. It's 20. It's not spelled out. Oh, 20 so, uh, yeah. late minutes. Late. 20, yeah, 20 minutes late. late dot com. Com. Yeah. <laughs> now tell me, um, you started out as an actor, right? I did. Mm -hmm. um, I started with, um, well, I was doing commercials uh -huh. while I was in college, yeah. and then this little show called Miss Saigon, you might yeah. have heard of it. <laughs> this little show. <laughs> Came along and started um, you know, auditioning, and I actually uh, dropped out of uh, university to go yeah. to uh, uh, do the show, right? And I thought I'd do it for six months. Ended up doing it for a couple of years, wow. and um, <laughs> but it gave me my big break. Yeah, um, that's awesome. I learned so much. Um, mm -hmm. It was almost like you know work, study <laughs> kind of thing, yeah. and made a lot, a lot of really great friends. Yeah. And uh, that led me to moving back to LA, yeah. and um, I got a really great recurring role uh -huh. on. Um, a primetime series. Oh, what, so. Grey's Anatomy? No, <laughs> oh. that, that came after. <laughs> that came after, yeah. okay. Um, it was I'm a, a huge fan of Grey's Anatomy. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw your pictures, I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> Next time, like, invite me. <laughs> what yeah. was the experience we'll like? <laughs> um, on Grey's, yeah. it's, uh, um, again, one of the great things about Grey's is, uh -huh. uh, you know, as, uh, aside from the really good acting right. and um, writing, mm -hmm. it's also a show that features diversity, diversity yeah, yeah. And it's such a great that. thing you know mm -hmm. coming on set and mm -hmm. just seeing people represented yeah. and uh, I always have a good time and yeah. um, I was happy when they, <laughs> they come, call you. <laughs> <laughs> come calling and say <laughs> hey do you want to play with us so <laughs> you're like yes <laughs> is that yeah. always in the back of your mind um, diversity in front of the camera and behind the camera I think it's important yeah uh, especially you know it's 2015 mm -hmm. um, do you see a difference um, from when you first started compared to now oh yeah for sure yeah. I think uh -huh. it's getting a lot better right. um, and again it's about making opportunities for yourself yeah. and it's a yeah. big reason why I wanted to uh, do 20 minutes late. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just important um, to be represented. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Share what, our Fili story, right? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, what Filipinos are what the largest um, growing um, minority group right. yeah. in all of the United States. Wow. Right. And um, yeah. I was in um, Spain over the summer. Mm -hmm. And saw a bunch of Filipinos who live there. Like, I don't know, maybe they live in Barcelona and Madrid. Right. Yeah, so I think we're everywhere. Yeah, we are everywhere. So we need to be represented exactly. in front of the camera, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. For more info on you, where do we go? Um, you can always tweet me, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't have a website. Uh, your, I should, what's but. What's your handle? Um, Ariel Felix1. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much, Arya. Thank you for having me. Pleasure, Pleasure having you here today, and thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Again, for more information on Arya, be sure to tweet him, and you can check out his film or more information on his film, 20 Minutes Late, by going to the website that you see on this screen. We'll be back.